Wait. Or Anna. Anna. Alaric turned his head in surprise to find Anna. Alaric roughly released his grip on Nina and stepped closer to Anna, who stood in the doorway, looking exhausted. Alaric cupped both of Anna's arms, lowering his body slightly to Anna's height, looking at her worriedly. Why did you come home, Anna? Your condition is still unstable? Alaric said softly, looking at Anna with concern then turned to stare flatly at Wanda and Rosaline in turn. Did you bring her? I asked for it. Ignoring Alaric, who was giving her a sad look, Anna stepped closer to Nina, who was also staring at her, with a flat, expressionless face. Her behavior managed to attract the attention of the people there. Anna's slap at Nina managed to make everyone there surprised. You. Nina scolded. What? Do you want to get angry? Or do you want to slap me back? Go ahead, go, said Anna, returning her gaze while thrusting out her cheek for Nina to slap her. Anna, what are you doing? Asked Alaric, not understanding. Shush. Anna's index finger was placed on her lips, coding Alaric to remain silent. Isn't the one who had a miscarriage? and almost died from poisoning me, Al. That means he has a problem with me, so let this be my business and his. Everyone there was wide-eyed at the bold words Anna had just said. Except for one person, Wanda, 30 minutes earlier. Wanda questioned Anna's insistent request to go home. Are you sure, yes? Anna nodded. Now only the two of them were in the room because Mrs. Rose was taking medicine after consulting a doctor, she was allowed to go home, with the condition that she had to be dressed since they were left alone. Wanda invited her to talk first and apologize to her openly, which of course Anna had forgiven a long time ago, because she remembered that they used to be friends, and their relationship unconsciously returned to the way it was, but you remember the doctor's message right after you go home. You have to rest. Yes, Wanda. Why are you being so chatty? You've been saying that all along. Anna replied to her own annoyance. Wanda grimaced. I'm just worried. Yes, I'll rest. At least after meeting that girl. Wanda nodded in agreement. You're right. You really can't stay silent when other people bully you and even harm you like that, because I'm the only one who can do that to you. Wanda said proudly, which was met with a lazy glance from Anna. What are you going to teach that girl? Asked Wanda curiously. Biology, replied Anna shortly. I'm serious, Vyer. Anna smiled mysteriously. Secret. Nina was still on the spot being stared at flatly by Anna. As far as Nina knew, Anna was a gentle person. But she looked different now. Why are you looking at me like that? Let's talk. I'm sure you must have a lot to say behind my back. Nina still couldn't believe that the woman in front of her was really Anna. You must be wondering why I'm not like usual. Actually, answer is easy. You just need to look in the mirror. Aren't we the same? If you can turn from a sweet girl into a demon, why can't I? You taught me Nina. Anna continued flatly. There was no one who wasn't stunned to hear Anna say those scathing words. Nina clenched her hands on her right and left sides. I didn't expect the person I thought of as my own sister to do such a thing. That's enough. Nina cut in with emotion. You talk too much, Anna. You don't know what's really going on, but keep cornering me. Nina continued with her hands clenched. Anna's eyebrows went up one side, smiling lightly. Oh yeah, then what really happened? Tell me about it. Anna prodded. It's true, your angelic image is just an act. Nina hissed. Anna gave a cynical smile. She admitted silently, this was not like her. But like it or not, she had to see this through to the end. If only you hadn't raped me that night, I would not have acted so recklessly. Nina's words seemed ambiguous, leaving questions in the minds of everyone who heard them, including Anna. What do you mean? Asked Alaric. If only you hadn't raped me that night, I would not have acted so recklessly. 
There was no doubt that every pair of eyes widened in disbelief at Nina's confession, as did Anna, but so quickly covered her shocked look, replaced by a flat face. Anna turned to Alaric, who stayed where he was, quite surprised by Nina's confession. You fucked me, but at the peak of satisfaction, you even mentioned another woman's name, and I hate hearing that. Right as she said the word hate, Nina turned to Anna and gave her a sharp look. Wow, that's really ridiculous. So what does that have to do with me? If it all started with your master, why don't you hold him accountable? Why did you sacrifice the people around him who didn't know anything? Anna growled. Anna, let me explain what really happened. Said Alaric, approaching Anna, but the man's step stopped at Anna's words. Stop right there, are we? You really are a petty woman, Nina. If you want to have her, you can have her without involving me in your cheap drama. I even had to sacrifice my innocent child to be because of you. Anna trailed off, glancing at Alaric, who was staring at her. But unfortunately, I'm sure your efforts will also be in vain. Because Alaric won't give you a second glance, either. She continued with a frivolous smile. Damn bitch! Hissed Nina, which Anna could still hear clearly. Anna chuckled briefly. Looks like you really need a mirror, my sister. Can I let you in on a secret? Anna leaned closer to Nina's ear, whispering something in there. I don't even have to bother flirting with him by seeking his attention like you do. Because without that, he'd already be flirting with me first. Nina's teeth chattered, and she gave Anna a hard slap. Nina. Ronnie shouted, along with Alaric. How dare you? The man scolded. Damn it. I'm it, growled Nina emotionally, which was met with a smile from Anna. I think my choice to imprison you was the right one, Anna said casually. Uh, or exile you to a desert island, offered Anna again, frightening the girl. You could see Nina's face stiffen at the mention of punishment, and Anna honestly felt victorious. Ah, oh, too bad. Exiling you to an uninhabited island would require a huge amount of money. I don't have that kind of money. I forgot we're both servants. Anna said, emphasizing the servant part. You? What? Challenged Anna. What exactly did you want to say? I gave you the space to speak. Nina's hands clenched into fists and wordlessly walked away from the mess she had made. Anna, who saw the back walking away, let out a long breath and turned around, looking at Wanda, giving her the code with a movement of her lips. How was it? Wanda nodded and gave a silent thumbs up. Cool.